Okay, ma'am. All right. So the next question is from our student, uh, Sunali Karmakar, and she has asked how to control our anger. So I think this question goes to uh, ma'am, Dr. Pawan Bidu, ma'am. Yes, thank you for the question. Uh, ma'am, yes, are you so there? Yes, I'm there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you, Sonali. You've asked this question regarding uh, anger, anger management. Yes, that's very nice. I'm very glad that you have introspected and you are aware that uh, there is an issue of anger could be within you or someone you know. And now the next thing is how to cope with it. That is, uh, you know, uh, trying to find a strategy that will work for you. Now, there are several things that uh, you could do and... Uh, uh, you know, even when we get on to, uh, when we read research articles on uh, anger management, you'll come up with a number of things. And I'm sure there are several that you've already heard of. But the thing is that uh, uh, you have to see uh, something that's tailor-made for you, something that suits you. Like probably if I had an anger issue and you told me to, you know, now uh, start counting till 10, I think that would not work for me right? It could work for someone else, definitely, but it would definitely not work for me. So it's a trial and error until I hit upon what would, what strategy, what, uh, you know, adaptive strategy and technique would work for me. So you, uh, you need to be aware of those strategies at hand and then choose what works for you. Uh, well, uh, definitely something like uh, leaving physically the place where, you know, you're having this argument or where this uh, scene of aggression is going to play out definitely helps. This is something I have seen. I have recommended it to, uh, you know, a number of my students who have come with this um, anger issue and it has really helped them a lot. I have actually seen that being played out because, you know, uh, they get into a kind of a scuffle with their classmates and because, you know, I have, you know, told them about this technique and they have practiced it and they have, you know, removed themselves from that scene, cooled themselves off, you know, gone for a little walk, just taken their minds off, a little bit of fresh air, you know, brushing through their face and within 10 minutes they come back much more sober so this is one technique that definitely definitely helps and uh, therefore you can explore a few more and see what works for you but one very good thing is that i'm glad you are aware because very often people live in denial and even families live in denial like there's a particular case of this young boy who was very very aggressive but when we spoke to the parents and when we were wanting the parents to also, you know, uh, you know, join us in helping this boy out, they were in complete denial. They said, no, it's just a very normal thing. So that aggravates the entire issue. That's like, you know, brushing the problem under the carpet. So definitely you can think of these things, uh, you know, taking deep breaths. That's also very therapeutic. You know, you're angry, you move, you remove yourself from that, uh, uh, from that, current location where you are or your stressor who's just before you and you walk out or you you know get a little bit of physical exercise a brisk little walk or probably even just taking a couple of deep breaths like Taiba rightly before she made us do that exercise she asked us to take three deep breaths and that you know it may sound very very uh, very very you know ordinary but it goes on and it does a wonderful thing to your system it really calms you down so you could try something like that i hope that answers your question sonali yes ma'am thank you ma'am 